Hello my beautiful Aquarians. Welcome back to Lion Gates Heart Tarot. This is Lauren. This is your second half of April 2023, but you'll find it when you're meant to find it. And this one is turned over, so we have to go with it. We have key. New beginnings, directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. Okay, beautiful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know when I post. Um, I hope you're enjoying the 48 hourly reads. It just keeps you going between your messages. And don't forget that I am doing personal reads now. I am limited, but the information's in the description box. So overarching, thank you. Animal Oracle, what do we have? We have Hawk Messenger. We just had this for another sign. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Wow. You've got the key. You hold the key, guys. You hold the key. Wow. Right, let's get into the tarot then for my beautiful Aquarians. I'm very partial to an Aquarian, as I've told you before. One of my most favourite person, well, my most favourite person, apart from my kids, obviously, in the universe was an Aquarian. You are one of my favourite star signs, I have to say. Thank you. Wowzers. Wowzers. Right. Sorry, they were that way around. I'm being told off. Eight of Swords and Nine of Cups. What else? Okay. What else? Wow. Wowzers. Okie dokie, guys. Okie dokie. That was quick and that was easy. Right. Let me just get these out and we will clarify and I'll explain as we go, my beautiful Aquarians. It just saves a bit of time. So, Eight of Swords, Angel Spirit, guys. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Thank you so much. Eight of Swords. S okay. Got ya. Nine of Cups for our beautiful Aquarians. Nine of Cups. Okay. What else? Woo, 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 guys. That way. Yep, yeah, got you. Lovely. Why is the three of cups in reverse? That wants to come out. Okay, you're waiting on something. Got you, got you. Okay. Yeah, we're waiting on something. That's fine. But you remember divine timing, guys. Divine timing. Eight of pentacles. Hello. Great to see. Oh, <laughs> sorry, guides. Yeah, <laughs> they're like Lauren. Wake up. Page of cups, please. Page of cups. And we're, oh wow, blimey, Charlie. What else? Ah, oh, healing. Got ya. What else? Any more? No. Okay. Judgment. Judgment and judgment, you're hilarious. Can I have another one? <laughs> Thanks. Two more. Okay, two more. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. Lovely. And at the bottom, we have the Five of Swords. And at the bottom of this one, we have the King of Pentacles. Beautiful. Okay, my beautiful Aquarians, I'm going to grab my drink, take a seat, and we shall begin. Okay, my beautiful Aquarians, we have the key. New beginnings, directions and adventures await those ready to let go of the past. A messenger, please connect to spirit. Spirit is sending you messages open to greater vision and see the signs. This could be your sign, absolutely. Focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. So... <clears throat> We're starting with past energies, my beautiful Aquarians. That's clarified with the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. So what that tells me here in the past is you've been blinded by something, okay? And it's to do with probably money and equilibrium. You want balance. As you can see in the new tarot, he's given to one but not the other. This can represent family for me and imbalance with monetary money. And it's caused you sleepless nights and anxiety. It can mean balance... It, unbalancing relationships and things but with the eight of swords that's what i feel from this read i only can read what i feel and intuitively i believe it's to do with family and it's to do with imbalance so it could be inheritance or something in the past that's caused you sleepless nights and anxiety but we're moving to the present now this 
is the Nine of Cups energy. The Nine of Cups is one of the nicest cards in the packs. This is um, emotional stability. You've actually healed from this or you're healing from this and you're not actually giving that power to anybody else, which is absolutely amazing. It's material happiness as well. It's present and future. Um, it's wish fulfillment sort of energy, the Nine of Cups, and that's in the present. Now that's clarified with the Hangman in reverse, the Emperor and the King of Cups. So with the Hangman in reverse, this can talk actually about somebody who has been holding you back, okay, to your Nine of Cups energy. And this can be an Emperor, so this can be a father, this can be um, a partner, an older man within the relationship, an older woman, because male, female, it doesn't matter. Um, and they've been holding you back to your nine of cups energy, but you're not actually giving them that satisfaction anymore. You've taken control over this situation by being the king of cups. You're sat in rocky waters, but you maintain your love and your position by holding that cup of love, which is absolutely phenomenal. So whoever this person is, they can't take your nine of cups from you. You're not allowing them to do so. So that's amazing. Then we go to hidden influences and at work which is oddly the three of cups in reverse but this is this is nothing to worry about so then we go into influences at work now we have the three of cups in reverse which is very odd um now how do you transmute a negative into a positive because this can mean that there's been a love triangle this can mean um perhaps affection has not been returned from a counterpart and that's why you're saying you're not going to interrupt my nine of cups this is my nine of cups this selfish person here this um counterpart is not upsetting your energy which is epic that's you taking control over the situation and how you're doing so is the knight of swords now the knight of swords you're using your intellect you're communicating, you're rational in a situation, okay, which is absolutely awesome. It's also justice and balanced energy, you know, with the Knight of Swords. And you've manifested this being the magician energy. This is something you've manifested, my beautiful Aquarians, which is amazing. I mean, this is a phenomenal growth. And I think you should be extremely proud of this. You've connected in, you know this situation, you know there's darkness, but you're transmuting that darkness into your own independency, which is phenomenal. And that's the biggest growth stage spiritually so hats absolutely hats off the magician you know you're creating a new reality and it you know he holds all full suits you manifest anything you want this is taking action towards something and you know the knight of swords is charging in he takes action and this is towards something awesome the, the two of ones is absolutely awesome. You, you're making decisions. This is a good decision to make. This is your personal power. You're being bold in a situation and you're taking control. And that's an influence working in your favour because you're not letting this person interrupt your Nine of Cups energy. You've had sleepless nights in the past. You're not going back to that energy. You're like, I've had enough. I'm moving forward. This is an influence because you're powerful. You need to sit in that power absolutely phenomenal my beautiful aquarians boom bang on proud or what right so we're going to obstacles you need to overcome so we have the eight of pentacles the hermit the chariot and the eight of wands so things are moving quite fast for you so it is an obstacle it can be a little bit oh my goodness it's all going so fast but obstacles to overcome is you working towards your independent energy and how you're going to get there is you're going to use the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles is the development of okay it's working it's developing skills pay attention to detail increase your knowledge it's for the greater skills um work moving forward it's also a number eight that talks about strength, okay, with the major arcana, using your inner strength and believing in yourself. And that is an obstacle to overcome is believing in yourself. And that's how I feel here, working towards this independency, because the hermit is very solitary. He's finding his light from within. But the universe is on your side, which is absolutely phenomenal, because we've got the chariot and the eight of wands. Now, the chariot is charging forward, guys. It's a force of destiny driving you forward. He's now in charge of those things is. And, you know, it's a seven. You've got to make the effort. And that's what it's saying to me here. And that's the obstacle. You have to believe in yourself. Make the effort. Find the light within and charge forward with grace. This is focus on the victory. Please focus on the victory. Conquer those inner demons and move forward. Communications of all kinds moving forward fast. And it will probably upskill you. And you'll be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe 
believe this is happening. But this is about your independent growth. And it's phenomenal to see. I can see the transition and the person trying to lower your vibe. You're not giving them. You're so, I've had enough of it. I'm moving forward and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put effort into my new development, my work moving forward. I'm going to turn a negative into a positive. So it's not an obstacle. It can be a little bit, oh my goodness, this is all so much. But you got it. You've absolutely got it. We're going to what you should do. We've got the page of cups is the new stage, okay, it's the mission of doing something you love, this is going to help heal you with star energy and the three of swords, this is going to help lead to the star energy, this is your dream desires, he's like the starting effort in something, okay, and it's, it's telling you to move forward with this, because the page of cups is the message stage, it's when you get creative, Okay, it's the dreamer, it's the inspiration that you're needing here. It can mean messages from family, absolutely. But it's the heal. What it's saying is when you move forward with something that you're passionate about and love, put all the negativity you had with this person in the past, and that's what I feel. I'm just being completely honest with this situation. All this experience that of negativity you've had, you've transmuted it. Use that to fuel your fire. And move forward with something you love. Because we grow from the darkness, my beautiful Aquarians. We grow from the darkness and we find our light. You have managed to do it and that is amazing to see. It's very, very rare it happens and it's blooming hard to do. So hats off to you. And how you're going to combat this is you're going to drive yourself forward with the page of cups. This is the message of something you love. It's the starting effort. It's creativity get going. It's your. It's going to be your healing. It's going to heal your heart. The star and the three of swords, it's going to be your healing. It's your independent power. It's your healing. It's your everything. And this is blooming judgment because this is the outcome. And you've turned a negative into a positive. The universe has said, blooming neck, we're so proud of you. It's 10-10, all right? You're, lay your past to rest. Release your past selves. Forgive yourselves and others and get ready for this opportunity coming to you. It's amazing. It's absolutely, I'm so, I can feel the energy from this read and I'm totally over the top and apologise, but I'm so blooming happy for you right now. Honestly, it's making me emotional. It's pathetic, I know, but oh, it's gorgeous. You know, it's absolutely gorgeous because I can see this transition here. So judgment is on your side. It's absolutely brilliant. We've got the page. Stop it, Lauren. Hmm. Let me just separate myself from your energy. One second. Whew, sorry about that. We have the Page of Pentacles, which is absolutely amazing. The Page of Pentacles is the message of the material and money development. You know, he's very loyal. He's very honourable. It's that sort of energy. Um, works more, talks less, basically. He's, he's, in, he's inspirational and he's practical in a, in a situation. Um, it's very much earth energy. So I would say ground. Make sure you ground in this time. You know, walk barefooted on the grass because it will benefit you. And that's clarify with judgment and this is the universe going come on my beautiful aquarians we have your back we just want you to know we have your back judgment is here make a decision it's an opportunity once given shouldn't be ignored and this could be something from the past um or something that needs to be communicated here with the page of swords you know the page of swords he holds the sword of communication is intellect um is the observer it can mean you know people talking and gossiping about you but it is the end of darkness it's complete it's the end of the darkness and because you're moving forward that's what it's telling me here the outcome is the end of darkness judgment and the horns are being blown over the situation you have grown as an independent you are moving forward in your energy and it's phenomenal to see you hold the key and you blooming well know this too i can feel you do you know you hold the key to your future and this amazing energy experience ahead you hold the key and you're going to be the blooming king of pentacles you're going to gain well for, well from it you're going to sit in your independent power he's very kind he's very loving and he's very is you know everyone gives him a bad rap but he's not he's just sits with his wealth and he doesn't make an apology and how you're going to get there is with the five of swords as you can see these guys in the back are crying and they're like oh my god he's taking all the swords that's a blooming lootly this is change this is five you know this can talk about breakup and stuff and it's you transmuting that sorrow into love You've, you know, it's very much related to the hyphen energy, the five as well, because hyphen five. So it's telling you to make a commitment. 
to this. Make a commitment to it. It's amazing. It's utterly amazing. Thank you, Angel Spirit Guides. Sorry about my humanness there. Pull yourself together, Lauren, really. Right, angel message to conclude for our beautiful Aquarians. I'm just so happy for you. I'm empathic. I just feel energy. Um, I'm Reiki, you see. So when I'm channeling in, I can feel everything. I can feel I can feel you transmuting that darkness and how difficult it's been to lead you to the path where you're actually transmuting that energy. And me having done it so myself, it's very blooming hard to do. I'm blooming proud of you, Aquarians. We've got choices. When you worry about decisions, it means that your mind is trying to control your life and that results in a choice made from your ego. Your angel guidance is to consider and evaluate all the options and let go of your head and choose from your heart, that which gives you the greatest joy and feels right. Do not act from foolish impulse, however, rather from divinely prompted inspiration, which is why they want you to connect in, guys. Work from the heart energy. When we work from the heart energy, we connect into our angels and spirit guides more easily. Make choices for the highest good. Remember that if something is not for your highest good, it certainly is not for the highest good for those around you. So let go of false feelings of responsibility for others and choose with wisdom. Become still and attuned to your soul. Ask your angels for guidance and help. Then from your point of deep inner stillness, make your choices easily and spontaneously. Affirmation is, I choose for my highest good. There you go, my beautiful Aquarians. Wowzers. What a read. It's the, probably the best read I've done all week. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. And... I feel absolutely exhausted from it, but I feel so happy for you. I'm so, so happy for you. It's amazing. So proud of you, my beautiful Aquarian. So very proud. So keep going. Keep going. Lots of love from me, Lauren. You know, please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it enables me to be here. If this is your message, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a little message below. I love talking to you and listening to you. So lots of love from me, Lauren. Don't forget to check out your 48 hourly reads. They just, you can see me in between and your daily angel messages are the most perfect way to start the day and we cut out the bs news because we want to be high vibrational right we don't need all that toffee in our vibration in the morning we need an angel message and guidance right so sending love and light to you until next time lots of love from me lauren bye bye for now